Hello guys, welcome to Mrs. Stroman254 Reaction Channel. Guys, for those who have subscribed, thank you. For those who are returning subscriber, subscribers and have come back to support me, thank you. We appreciate everything you do to us. And yesterday I did not do a video, but today I'm here. I promise I will be doing every day, but... Sometimes I miss and yeah, I am. I'm going to uh, something, some few things have come up and I have to address those things from people who realized how I can come in between Mara and and Mrs. Strongman because I have to show Mara that I'm, I'm woman enough to defend him Mara, so that Mara would like me more and eh. But guys, I... Like, I'm going to talk about, first, there is this XPA, the, the second in command beggar. That is the second in command after Maro. That one has learned the heart of begging, but not like Maro. She is very bad at it because the way she does it, it irritates. You don't beg outrightly. Begging, begging. Even the subscribers are getting tired. I'm going to... Irene Jeb, yesterday I saw a video Irene Jeb did complaining of Mrs. Strongman. And I have to give it back to you. I said any, any Mara's edge dog that thinks they can come and address me. Because I am talking to Mara, not you. Whenever you decide to get yourself to my fight with Mara, you have to answer to me. I did not call you out. You came to me. So I have to answer to you. This is the first day. It only gets worse as you come back. I'm going to be soft to you, Irene Jeb, and, and, and the other grandma. Hmm? The UK one. She has a guts to address me. I'm coming back to you, grandma. Because I call her grandma because she is the age of... She is even older than my mother, as I can see, her age. So, Irene Jeb came here complaining, oh, Mrs. Strongman went to Nyambuanze. We don't know the intentions she had going to Nyambuanze. Miss Strongman did not take herself to Nyambuanze. Your so-called boss called me to Nyambuanze. You have to clear that. I did not take myself to Nyambuanze. So when saying, oh, Miss Stroman went to Nyambuanze to do this and this, I did not take myself there. Point of correction. Then you claim, hmm? I had intention before going to Nyambuanze. Uh -huh. I was just like you, going to, to see a uh, travel commando and see how this man showcases how good he is in social media, if it's real. If he did not call me, how could I know? I would have said in Mombasa and kept on thinking Mara is the best of the best. But he made a mistake and brought me close to him so that I could learn that what I see on TV is not the real thing. Hmm? It's not the real deal. Then she said also, Mrs. Strongman went to the villa and she could not come out of the room. She wanted to be served. Yes, a visa is served. A visa does not go to anyone's home to be to serve people. You don't know what a visa does. Is served. Miss Strongman was there to be served. If if it pained you, woman. Hmm? If it pained you, carry your own cross. Bear it. She also complained that uh, I, I went there and I could not leave the room. Even when Strongman told you tomorrow my family will be coming as the PA, suppose PA, you had to serve Mara's interests. When you are told someone is coming tomorrow, you have, because when there are guests from US, UK, and you know those guests are coming with gifts, are coming with money, will donate you ran up and down preparing rooms making video we have we are having a guest but when you had all oh, 
strongman family is coming and you are told by Mara, yeah, you are here to serve me. Go prepare a room for strongman's family. They are coming to, tomorrow. Do you, do you go to prepare? No. Why? Did, will me strongman family with strongman family come with gifts? No. Will they come with anything good? No. You didn't prepare the room until we are at the gate. We had to start doing a video. There's a video we did. You can go back to, our, to strongman's channel and see a video we did at the gate. And everyone was complaining, why are you keeping your family at the gate? This is the reason. We started doing a video to pass the time because Irene Jeff was preparing a room when we are at the gate. Why? She disrespected Strongman's family because they are not coming with gifts. Hmm? We had to sit there and wait for her to prepare the room. Then we come. I, I tell you, we come. As a family, they see, oh, this is not the kind of family we are expecting. The kids are, uh -huh. the mom is, uh -huh. this is not the kind we expected to come and serve Mara. I tell you, no one even dared to say hi to me. I could say hello and everyone would keep quiet. They did not expect a well-bred family. They thought because this man is giving free service, his family is eh? poverty-stricken. And the girl, no, they don't like look like that. Is this strong man's family? And even the girls asked, are you really strong man's family? Because they thought this man is troubled. This man has no money. This everyone thought so. And the disrespected uh, disrespect started when Irene Jeb could not even prepare the room before her. We had to wait in at the gate for her to prepare a room because we are not bringing gifts. Mm -hmm. We come in, everybody is like, huh? Strong man's family? Huh? I say hello, and everyone else. Hmm? From that day, there are girls I have said hello, and they have never said hi. And those are the people I expected to come defend in Mara because they hated me since the day I went inside the, the villa. So those are the people I expect, not you, Irene. I know you will defend Marwa. You will make an effort. But I do not expect you. There was people who I thought these people should, because they hated me and I knew these people hated me from the word go. Those are the people I expected to answer. Not you, not, not the UK grandmother. I didn't expect you. I, you are not even in my list when I was saying people will come here to defend Marwa. You are not in my list. I didn't expect you. I thought you would concentrate with your begging activities. Because you are good at that, ma'am. You are very good at that. I saw that video, you were opening fridge, the fridge is empty, and I felt, Ay, what has Mara reduced our Kenyan people to? Beggars. Beggars. Only like beggars. You are, the fridge has nothing. <laughs> the salt has nothing. <laughs> There is no bread, look, huh? everything, there is no this. Is it subscribers' problem that you have nothing? What is the work of your husband? Did you see Mrs. Strongman, the two months Strongman was in Nyambuanzi? Did you see Strongman wife doing a video complaining, oh, Strongman is in Nyambuanzi, I don't have food? What is the job of that husband of yours? What is his role in that family? That you have to come every time to the subscribers. Oh, this is the list. This is the list of my uh, my fee structure. Look, this is my firstborn, and this is my secondborn. Look, look, this is the fee. This is the fee structure. Guys, we pay lunch, we pay transport. We, I take them, but look, look, we are supposed to pay this. If you cannot afford your kids and education in a expensive school take them in a local school a public school let them get what their mother can afford what their father can afford don't dis disgrace yourself every day every day in camera on camera Mara does it and i think Mara has grown a thick skin because he has done it over years but you are overdoing it food fees hmm? 
oh my husband I I what talked with my husband and he did not agree with me so I have come to ask you our opinion not opinion to ask for your donation I want to take my kids back to school hey you have to arrange your life January you know your kids are going to school I was in Nyambwanze you heard me say I've looked for a school for my daughter. I was not asking anyone to donate for my daughter. I have already made the step to go and look for the school. I'm waiting for January to take my daughter to school. I did not come to ask for donation for my... Because I've been doing it for eight years. Nobody has been coming through and my kid has been going to good schools. I've not never asked for anything. But what are you doing, woman? disgracing us even the everybody will think kenyan youtubers are beggars why are you doing this why are you and mara disgracing people in kenya why are you doing this to us you have even initiated rocio soon we'll see rocio holding diapers guys you know this bucket has uh, has no diapers hey guys these kids use diapers uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You have to donate diapers. Oh, the, the clothes are becoming short. Guys, oh, it's only three months. The clothes have become short. I did not know kids outgrow their clothes this early, this quickly. Oh, guys, can you support? Uh -huh. We don't want this nonsense in YouTube. Stop begging. Do content. Hmm? Stop being your master's you do whatever your master does. You, you have to see this is not good and don't do it like your master does. Like this begging thing ha irritates me. You don't keep on begging, begging, begging. Now, oh, I change my hand sense and it's not this month. Is, it's just last month you are complaining about food. People send money. You went and bought food. Even you... Without shame, you go and pick. Oh, you pick this a uh, watch. Uh -huh. I have loved this watch. You want also them to send because you like that watch, man. You people disgrace us as Africans. We have our hands. We work for ourselves. Hmm? You disgrace us. You and your master. Please avoid these things. Avoid that. That's a very bad behavior. Then I. Before I have got over the last month begging of food and everything and the other time begging of school fees, I didn't tell this year again. Saying, oh, my YouTube channel, I changed my sense. this month I will not receive. Again, this is my number. Ah, Irene, you, are, you showcased your, your skills when you are defending Mara from my van. Can you go look for something, even in a cyber cafe? Ask them to give you a job. Or ask, beg for the last time. Ask these people to open, to open for you a cyber cafe where you will be hanging and stop this begging business. I'm giving you an idea. Ask them to send you some money for, to open a cyber cafe. You will be earning. And this coming back and back and back to ask for donation will end. I'm just advising because it's irritating every day. <laughs> you talk about oh, Mara's Mara this woman was not going to the kitchen uh -huh. when she was in at Mara's you wanted to be served uh -huh. you wanted me to, to go and serve your master at the kitchen. Me, me come from Mombasa to go at the village and some work someone in the village. Are you crazy? Me, from town to the village to serve a YouTuber. A YouTuber, not a president. I don't even see myself going to serve a president for free. My husband is giving you services and the wife is here cooking. Oh, master, do you want hot water? Do you want fruits I am going to catch? Do you want uh, Do you want me to prepare a road route? Do you want me to prepare cassava? Do you want me? 
take all that drive to go and serve someone. Hey, guys, be serious. You call me to your home, you gonna serve me whether you like it or not. If you don't want to serve me, let me stay at Mombasa in my own place. I will serve me myself. But if you call me at your home, just as I serve my visitors, you are going to serve me. You are going to serve me. And I repeat it. That's how he did to his visitors. It doesn't matter I flew in or I got there in a bus. You are going to serve me. Gifts or no gifts, you invited me. You are going to serve me. Nonsense. Oh, if the if strong man was sent something, he could not do a video and show the boss how much he has received. The boss thought strong man was getting donations, so if he was not getting, the master would have come and helped him. Strong man, nonsense. As he helped you, you keep crying every day. As he sent you school fees, did he send you money for your shopping? Yes, the boss would have, huh? if he said, are you crazy? I know it's a hard job to defend Maro, but do you have to stoop this law to defend Maro? Do you have to stoop this law? <laughs> do you have to stoop this law to defend this man? Eh? Oh, Eliza told me every day, Mara was asking them if the kid has eaten. What has that girl has to do with you? Hmm? You thought I was coming here to serve Mara, to be working. The only job I went to do in Nyambuanza is to, to take my kids to take a bath. Wash their clothes. Finished. Finito. I didn't go to serve anybody. Nobody deserves my service. Ah, Rocio, Mara, I go serve them. YouTubers, oh, camera people, I go serve you. Hey, I don't even see myself serving Mr. President. I serve Mara. And I even Mara realized it. This is not a woman you can tell go. Go. He realized it. Hmm? And that's the result you see. Eh? This is a woman who knows how her worth. I cannot serve anybody. I can't. We were giving a service, thinking this man is genuine. We'll be grateful for the service. That's all we did. He was to give shout outs. But the man came back and told his people to unsubscribe and restrict the channel. And you are here, they were planning to do what? I was planning to go to Nyambans to do what? It was a coincidence. I realized the boss was lying about sickness. It's not my fault. He would have not pretended, would I have said? He would have being contented with the past sicknesses but yet to pretend when I, I was there who am I not to say it? I had to say it, I saw it let him do a three hour video and say strong, Mrs. Strongman, I had a street I, I had a branula, it's just you could not see it but it was in the skin, inside huh? the only thing we could see is the bandage but my doctor is a it's a genius. He put it inside the skin, inside the hand. You cannot see it. Try to use something, good things to defend Maro. And I'm telling you, if you feel you can defend Maro, go back to Nyambuanze. You even left your... I'm a woman. I cannot leave my kids with their father and go serve a man. No. My kids. Maro says, come. I come with my kids. Every woman should take a wagon with her. Your kids are your, your bags. You have to go everywhere with your kids. What else is important in your life than your kids? You leave your kids with your husband to go and serve Maro. 
and you're asking oh she went with the kids and the mother was uh, uh, mm -hmm. you invite me i come with the kids you expect me to work for you <laughs> yeah guys you did not tell me when i came there that you you thought i was a maid i came with some rapper rapper to, to, to serve mr boss me hey <laughs> The other thing I'm going to tell you, Irene, today I'm composed, respectable. Eh? You can see my attitude. Today I'm respectable. And even the UK mom, I'm going to address her as my mom. Respectably. I'm giving you this only chance. Never involve yourself in Mara's battles. Stay in your lane, man. You guys stay on your lane. Mara offended me. I have to answer to Mara. If I did not offend you, don't come defending Mara. You can be Mara's DOGs, but don't involve you yourself in my faith. I say it respectably, kindly. This is the first time I'm telling you I respect you guys. <laughs> I respect you. I'm saying today I'm composed. Today I'm composed. That's why I, I'm not even fighting you. I'm giving you a second chance. Please don't involve yourself in my business. And your, the UK grandma, don't involve yourself in my business. Because the next time I will not be this cool. Hmm? I will not be this cool. You say, okay, uh, even Mara has tried to call them and made, you, made, made what? With who? Once you come in January, destroy us publicly. Yeah? Telling your subscribers all manner of things about Stroman. You come back on July. Hmm? Do the same thing. <laughs> they were silent from January. Huh? They did not even go to their channel strongman to fight for and reply to me so oh mara i'm the i'm the goat the he goat not a goat the he goat not the goat you are expecting me to use he is a he goat he was expecting me to keep quiet just as we kept quiet from january hmm? that time we were mourning so we had to 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 hold ourselves together you come back on July and try to mess with the same people the same way you did on January and expect silence. Hmm? Oh, Mara has tried to call strong man. That's what I know. He has cried, tried to communicate with strong man. Mara has done all the effort. <laughs> Let me play that. Reactor. She says that Mara complained about them eating food within the villa. And I'm like, oh my God. You know, even uh, there is this lady, Eliza. She sent me a voice note and she was like, oh my God, I, I can't believe this. Mrs. Strongman is saying all this. And you know, she, she used to stay in the bedroom. She was just doing nothing. Instead of even now going to assist in the kitchen, she's just staying to so that anyone that is cooking can take food to them. Mm -hmm. You wanted me to go and serve. Respect yourself. This is a humble request. Irene, stay on your lane. If you want to go and serve Maru, Take your kids, your husband. Go help Mara in the big begging business because your kids need school fees. You have already begged on these streets. School fees, food begged on these streets. Uh -huh. What else? Uh, money is not coming this month. Beg. Go take your family to Nyambuanzi. Live close with Maro. Maro will beg today, you will beg tomorrow. You have to alternate the days. Hmm? 
and you will be close to Mara. You will know when Mara has called this woman. Stop creating stories. Mara has not even dared to call this woman. Stop lying to people. Call to say what? Call to say what? He has already done his mess. There is nothing that can be repaired. Stop praising him. Oh, he has tried. Tried what? There is nothing to try to mend. There is also this other UK grandma that came carrying, carrying drifted panties. Yami Kitchen. She is now a reactor. She felt like I have to undress Miss Strongman. I'm, I'm old enough so she will not come for me. Eh? You want to play with me outside as a kid? With your age? I'm undressing you with respect for today. For today. The next time you come for me, age will be, I will address you woman to woman. Because you have no respect for yourself. Why should I respect you? You have chose to answer me. To fight me. To show Mara that you are the best of the best. Hmm? I will take age away. And I will deal with you woman to woman. I'm not going to talk much about this woman because she is over the age of my mother. I'm going to give you some respect today. But if you repeat the same thing, I swear, I will deal with you perpendicularly. You came with drifted panties, bras, just because you, you see Rocio, every, every day Rocio has no bra. You have to embarrass Maro. Yes, Maro doesn't go to a shop to, to buy anything for the way, for the girlfriend. But why do you have to embarrass Maro and bring drifted, not new, drifted panties and bras? And Maro, I could see how Maro was embarrassed by this. Just because I don't wear boxers, you don't see my, wife, my girlfriend wearing bras, you have to embarrass us like this, bring drifted, you, you put drifted things from UK, bring it to Kenya, huh? to, to give to Rosie, drifted. I was embarrassed on their behalf. You cannot bring me thrifted things, mutumba things, we call them that, like that, and bring to me as a gift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These ones, yes. I think that's mm -hmm. what you'll see. Okay. Whoa. I've been just thinking, oh, you choose your size, yes. <laughs> I love them at bus, but they were saying that at the yeah. airport, they yeah. open suitcases when you're coming abroad. Yeah. And they say, they think you're going to stay, but they want you to give them something. But now I think because people have been complaining, they stopped. Oh, so they checked it on your hand yeah. as well. Okay. Oh, I love these. Thank you. That's one time yeah. when I worked in a bank. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. And bring to me as a gift. I know you had big dreams. You had so, uh, seen me. Um, Baba gift come with gifts uh, and subscribers love boom. Hmm? He came with money. Uh -huh. The subscribers are amused hmm? uh -huh. with money. You could have stayed long, huh? kept some money, some euros, huh? saved some euros to come and draw in Nyambuaz. I swear, if you did that, it's only that you ran to, you took a flight to Kenya, thinking, oh, when I take Mutumba things, thrifted bandits, all oh, those subscribers will love me and they will subscribe like Mama Gift was done. Mama Gift knew the, the, <laughs> the minds of these people. They came prepared with money, gifts, not thrifted, even if they, they turned out to be fake afterwards, but they had go, already gotten the subscribers. That's how you play with your, the minds of Nyambo. <laughs> you save some, some euros, some dollars, but you are from the UK. <laughs> you save that. Come. Entertain us with you. Hmm? You draw. Uh -huh. Oga, oga, draw, draw. They will subscribe. 
you you saw just babaki child i realize ah, i have to go to nyambwanze i i'll go to the thrift shops and take something for rocio panties i don't think if she cannot put on a bra i don't think she has a, a panty all she has adapted to marwa's system <laughs> commando <laughs> yeah you embarrass marwa and rocio i saw i looked at their face and i said before angos my angos Findinia, you bring my my girlfriend, Pandis. Not in you, thrifted, and you you are just like. Hey, I have brought this. Hmm? Rosie is like, oh my God. Yes, I don't put on brass, but why embarrass me like this? And she was, like, hmm? Eh? Then you take another effort. Hmm? French making friendship is not easy, ma'am. You have to take a flight to and fro to Nyambuanzi. Go make shopping. Do shopping for Coco. Congrats, ma'am. Oh, congrats, ma'am. Hey, hey, I've brought this. <laughs> Mrs. Roman could, do, could not do that. I can't waste my money to go and beg friendship. I can't. <laughs> mm -hmm. I brought you this and this and this. <laughs> You are trying to to impress the subscribers, and all after all that job. Two thousand, and this woman was like, "Here, yeah? oh, the money I used uh, for the flight to impress congressman. I even went ahead and bought drifted panties and brass to impress Ross you and the Maru for shout out, and see the res the result." 2k subscribers what a disgrace what a loss i even saw you grandma i don't know what you interest you had with uncle mo and mara was like there is no power at uncle mo's it's darkness can you come to my villa we have solar uh-uh there, there were solar no there were the generator come and stay in the where there is light uh-uh i love more where more is whether it's darkness we will search whatever we are searching with spotlight i don't want to dis to disrespect you madam whatever we will be looking at we will use spotlight in the darkness it's more i want it's more you want and it's more you will stay with in the darkness you are not going to go to maras and i ask myself what what does this woman ask you mean this woman loves more like that? That she cannot go to light. She has to, to start to, <laughs> to start everything with spotlight in in most. Hmm? How do you uh, uh, help our madam <laughs> with no electricity in your home? We are surviving with the uh, small daylight. <laughs> yeah. And I brought the solar. I got a torch. African bad that whenever they we believe that when that big head bad comes in your home something bad has to happen and you are a bad woman to more you found uncle more stable doing his videos independent in his home you took more tomorrow and from that time more you have reduced more to Mara's servant. If you just left Mo at his home, Mara would not be mistreating his uncle, yelling, Uncle Mo, draw, don't draw the fish, oh, don't. It's your fault. I call you a hole, that, that big hide, a bad omen. Look at what you have reduced finding Ian to. He has to come back to pump views back in Nyambuaz. Hmm? You, you, you are a bad woman. You had to leave a bad mark to everybody you eh? you touched. Hmm? Today I'm respectable. And just because of the age, I will not talk much about you. I'm waiting for you to come back. 
you want this disrespect from me you will get it just come back and address me guys thank you for sticking with them with me up to this time and thank you for everyone who has supported me by subscribing thank you i appreciate see you on the next video bye